the buzz of exercise is finding the challenge. You know that um, for me, when I'm exercising, I'm trying to find that moment where you want to fail. You know, who am I in that moment? Who, you know, where do I go to in that place in that moment? That's the great thing with exercise is you have to confront the self and you have to confront doubt and you fail and, and then how do you, with your own character, get over that stuff. And so for me, you know, I, I love the mental challenge of exercise. I've kind of always been more focused on the mental challenge, but also the feeling of exercise. Like when you're exercising and, you're, and your physical is just absolutely killing itself, you know, while you're in that moment, that's really hard. It's also, it's kind of like all your senses are alive, but it, working at 100%. Um, I love who I get to be in that place. Like I get, I get a really oppor good opportunity to express myself. I just love it, to be honest, because I love people, and, and so, and I love, you know, exercise. And so, when you're at the gym, you're kind of doing the thing that I love with people. I kind of don't know if I can say love, but you know, like I have this really strong connection with. And hey, I'm Bim and James Oz. Your exercise extraordinary. Um, I'll be really lucky. Actually, I've kind of achieved it all. I, um, I get to travel the world and present all around the world to conferences. I'm, I'm on Les Mills' DVDs, which gets sent to instructors all around the world. I've won New Zealand Fitness Instructor of the Year three times. Um, I, you know, I, everything I ever set out to do, I've kind of achieved. And I'm, I'm the person who everyone else, without sounding arrogant, but I kind of get to live the life that a lot of people dream of living within my industry. And I kind of feel pretty privileged that I do that. I never see the point in just doing something half-hearted and so when I was into my drugs and alcohol I was the guy like I always woke up with no eyebrows because I was the guy at the party who would just be drunk at six o'clock I used to have, like photos of me with cock written on my forehead and stuff like that like I was that guy and I remember doing drugs like I, like I wasn't a very good drinker but when it came to drugs I could outsmoke anybody and I remember just lining up like 20 spots or I remember doing a spot once that was like that big and just took it all in one breath and but that was my goal you know it was like how like how, how like messed up can I get there was a real defining turning point and it was when I was doing LSD one night and um, and I'd spent a lot of time reflecting on other people's lives and what they needed to do to improve and um, you know when you're on LSD everything's enhanced and you know and, and I thought I was Gandalf and had all their answers and uh, and then after a while I actually looked at myself and it was kind of the first moment in my life where I saw myself for what I really was, that actually I was a bit of a loser and a bit of a drop kick and I didn't I'd self identify as a loser but I realised that this isn't a very good life and if anything I was going in the wrong direction so uh, at that moment I identified there's just things I need to do to change. Like I remember, you know you have the friendship box? You know, and you, you have all those stupid questions you ask. And I would, my, all my answers would always just be sex, and everyone thought I was just trying to be funny, but it was basically because I could only spell sex. I remember going and doing, uh, like, Read a Rabbit, which is, like, you know, like, I couldn't even spell three-letter words. Like, it was that bad. I've still got the books, actually. And, uh, and I remember I couldn't even spell them and doing, you know, those things with, like, five-year-old kids next to me and this lady called Maura, who was this really lovely lady. And, uh, you know, I did it for like, three or four years and, you know, kind of kept that in and, you know, you know, kind of got there. Time trial start in the Hudson River. So I'm in New York, will be my second I'm in after Texas. John and I have a podcast called I Am Talk, uh, which is which is a kind of a weekly show, which is kind of like a news show that we kind of talk about, just we only talk about I Am. Questions and answers. Okay, so I've got one from Mike Weenman here, and he's just saying, love listening to the podcast, guys, and follow your conversation about TT versus Wave And stuff. we have this niche audience, and we've got like 20,000 listeners, and we're in, I don't know, 120 countries, and it's just people who are passionate about Iron Man, and it's... Um, it started out literally with me and him in my bedroom at home, 
and uh, we just thought we'll give it a try and see what happens and it's kind of this big thing now where we get they, our listeners pay for us to go to Hawaii every year and um, yeah like we and also we are like the voice of our sport now and it's yeah it's turned into this kind of really big thing and, and it's still just you know John and I behind the mic but it's, yeah, it's pretty great this one needs some work but the rest of it was pretty consistent a 526 bike and then a 335 run is pretty I'm at the run. top level you know I've, I've raced as an Ironman triathlete I've done you know did pretty well at that um, you know in the fitness industry I've got to the top of the world and, and what I do I've, you know I've achieved a lot of things there I've, I've got a business that's creating change in ways that are important to me The running groups are probably one I'm most proudest of that I've created um, because we are creating change for people who don't exercise. I go to, can I get everybody in front of us here, please? Exercise is one of the greatest things in life to help people develop themselves. You know, these people have never exercised, and um, within, you know, we get them up running up 5Ks in eight weeks. And the transformation, not just in, you know, they change their body and they, they, you know, get exercise. The transformation in the self is absolutely massive. So I'm going to give you every 30 seconds time, yeah. just a little bit faster each time. Not a massive increase in speed, just a little bit faster. Exercise as a, as a thing in life is one of the most powerful things to do that. And so for me, it's like, how do I build my world so I can get more of that in, in, in the world that I come from? Yeah. So I don't necessarily care about being the richest guy in the street or being the fastest guy, it's more my values. And my values are um, honesty, I, I think honesty is really important. Um, passion, love, um, freedom, and then um, happiness. So it's kind of like, if I were to walk into a room right now and someone was talking about me and I, they didn't know I was there, if they were to say those things about me, I know I'm doing a good job.